I'm Virginia McGathy here on the floor at the CME Group reporting on the grain market. Today, soybeans started out and they made a new high. It's a new one-year high. It seems that Argentine, uh, the drought really persists and the market is still moving higher. Now, as of late, though, we had a little bit of a sell-off. Some of this uh, rally really triggered some profit taking, taking it off the board. Uh, that doesn't take away the fact that there still is some trouble uh, in South America uh, with the, the crops. And it seems like the last uh, report that came from the Buenos Aires, uh, the grain exchange said that the crop uh, quality was about 50, 58% poor. So if those numbers really come to fruition at the end, uh, we can see some real support for this market and uh, maybe we're gonna make a real run at uh, $11 for soybeans for sure. So we're gonna watch that closely. The other thing too is that Brazil is still uh, doing very well in the soybean market. So they may be able to offset whatever is lost in Argentina. Uh, but that's still going to be really competitive and uh, we, you know we're still like looking for uh, the market to kind of move up a little bit more so the corn also was rallying too so and that's a, a may also made another new high that US dollar index uh, weakness kind of offers some support here now it, the US dollar really started out lower and it was looking good and started to uptick so right as as we stand right now it's a little bit higher but overall there is some weakness that's keeping the market up so that's really like helping uh, helping uh, us for export and kind of keeping the market uh, moving higher. Everything's very, very strong here, including wheat. Wheat really jumped up, and it seems that the, the weather troubles in the U.S. and in Europe are helping that market. There still is some drought and dryness in the southern plains of the U.S., and in Europe, there is a, it's, it seems that there is a, you know, a frigid temperature right across of Europe, and that's kind of like sparked some, some worries that there's going to be some crop damage there. Uh, it, that will definitely help us a lot, uh, even, even, even though we know that the global supplies are pretty plentiful in wheat, uh, there should be a lot more play in the market. And we're going to see, we've seen wheat at a, a number we haven't seen in quite a while. A lot of volatility in the market. We are definitely in a full-blown uh, weather market, and that's going to help all commodities across the board. That's all from the floor at the CME Group here in Chicago. I'm Virginia McGathy.